After your recent testing of DLSS versus FSR, where it's evident that DLSS is the better technology, what are the options that AMD has if they wanted to compete with NVIDIA head to head? Switch to AI upscaling, even if it kills the primary point of FSR, which was the broad compatibility with cards from both teams. Um, I think this is an interesting question because I think in my, I don't know whether this is a controversial opinion or not, but I think the broad compatibility angle of FSR has kind of failed. Um, I think the point of having broad compatibility with FSR was to encourage game developers to only use FSR so then they would kill off DLSS, making it less of a selling point. So you're sort of trying to neutralize it by saying, hey, developers, don't bother with DLSS, just use our solution, um, and then we just neutralize the playing field. There's no advantage for NVIDIA cards or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think what we've seen over the last year or two is that FSR is being included in games with DLSS, not as the only solution. And yeah, there's a few outliers, a few AMD sponsored tiles that only have FSR. There are a few NVIDIA sponsored tiles that only have DLSS. But the majority of games use both. So for NVIDIA GPU owners, again, we're now three generations into cards supporting DLSS. The amount of people who have a non, an NVIDIA non-RTX GPU is really just like entry-level gamers at this point. They're either on Pascal or GTX 16 series. There's a lot of gamers now that can use DLSS on the NVIDIA side that I think the broad compatibility isn't as relevant. Mm -hmm. Like you sort of... D NVIDIA owners have access to DLSS, AMD owners have access to FSR, so it, it kind of needs to be the best that AMD has to offer versus the best that NVIDIA has to offer, which may mean it's an exclusive AMD feature and they're working on quality by using AI scaling or something. Now, of course, it's possible to make an, an AI algorithm that works on NVIDIA's tensor cores as well. They definitely could do that if they want to. I guess it's a question of whether they would put in the effort. Mm -hmm. to make it or just because they they would know that most nvidia gamers now are using dlss they're not choosing to use fsr so would you put in the effort to make that feature work on nvidia anymore mm -hmm. you'd probably just try and make your amd feature as fast as possible on amd gpus you try and make it the best image quality that you possibly can and, and go down that path obviously back when fsr1 launched this was a, a, a much more different discussion there were still lots of people using like gtx 1060s and stuff and 1070s that couldn't access dlss and it kind of made yeah it was a more compelling feature back then but just these days i think that that angle hasn't really worked for them mm -hmm. which do you think that's a controversial point <laughs> like oh, it, it depends who you ask no well i agree with it uh it's what we've been saying like dlss has continued to improve and age well and yeah. we've only continued to see that. We think it's one of the key selling points of a GeForce GPU these days, um, probably more so than the ray tracing performance, the more mature ray tracing. And yeah, I think that it looked like at one point in time that may have been a possible achievement for uh, AMD, but I wouldn't think so anymore. I think that ship sailed and... yeah. Yeah, like when you've got games that have both technologies, what, who's FSR for now? Mm -hmm. It's just for AMD gamers, so it has mm -hmm. to be the best for them. And mm -hmm. yeah, maybe there was some alternate reality where FSR just became the only solution for upscaling, which I, again, I think that was their, their plan. But for that to have been the case, I guess it really needed to have been better, better than DLSS or at least as good in terms of visual quality mm -hmm. because then all the... All the points about you know working on all GPUs would make a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, why would you bother including DLSS if FSR delivers equivalent image quality? You only have to integrate one technology. It works across all GPUs. It make no sense to integrate DLSS. But the way it ended up was DLSS still offers better visual quality for for NVIDIA gamers, so it still made sense to include it, which then completely killed off that point. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think the next gen, you know, FSR three, it'd make a lot of sense for that to be AMD exclusive. I think they've got enough pull with developers now that they could probably convince them to integrate that anyway. There's certainly a lot of games, including all the technologies, even though AMD's market share is pretty small. So mm -hmm. yeah, let's fingers crossed they're doing everything they can to just focus on quality and making it run really well on their products. I think that's where they'll be succeeding moving forward. Yep.